Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean with Next Wave DV. We're at the Avid booth and I'm here with Glenn. Glenn, can you give us a few highlights of what you have new at NAB 2011? Sure, uh, definitely. Um, last year, 2010, we acquired a company called Euphonics that makes control surfaces. This year, NAB 2011, we've actually showing those integrated within the Avid family of products. So we've got two of them here. One of them is the Transport, which is a jog shell controller that works within Media Composer, Pro Tools, but this also, most of these products also work with third-party applications like Final Cut, and um, we've got color correction control surface as well that'll work with things like um, DaVinci Resolve, uh, Assimilate from Scratch, I'm sorry, Scratch Assimilate, and also will work with things like um, Storm from the factory. So the other control service we have is um, our mix control service. This is a flying fader mix window. So this will work again within Media Composer, allows you to control your automation gain. Uh, we have two other control surfaces down this end, if you want to look. This is, this is Artist Control, which is kind of a combination of the previous two I showed you, where you've got your faders, you've got your shuttle controls, and you've also got a fully programmable LCD touch screen. Okay? The final device is our color wheels surface. This does not currently work with any of the Avid products. We're currently you know, working on that, but it is definitely available for other products as well. Okay, So that's the control surface environment. Uh, one of the other things we announced at, Media, at NAB this year is support for the Aja IO Express inside of Media Composer. So that is for both capture and playback, so now you have an affordable IO option for Media Composer. And the main thing we've been showing is Media Composer 5.5, which you know, supports all of these different uh, devices and input outputs. And uh, we've made some, you know, continuing to make improvements in the interface on that. We've added some new tools to, you know, help editors speed up their workflow. And uh, we've added some additional audio suite plugins, real-time audio suite plugins in the timeline. Again, bringing more, you know, editing and audio functionality to the Avid editors. All right, I also hear that you have a way for Final Cut users uh, to experience your product. Yeah, there's a couple different ways. I mean, for a long time we've had our 30-day free trial download that is available for anybody, Mac and Windows, they can download it fully functional and you know, actually experience what a media composer is like to use. But this year we've also uh, launched a limited time offer for what's called a cross grade. This allows you to keep your final cut but also add a media composer to your facility. Basically all you need to do is you know, just you know, give us your final cut serial number so we can actually prove that yes you have a copy of final cut and for $995 you can actually get a full cut of media composer software for your system. Alright sounds great. Thank you very much Glenn. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.